All right, hey, Blood Dads, we're in front of Sweet Pete's right now, and yes, I'm masked up, but guess what? I match. <laughs> Everything matches, right? I'm in my holiday spirit. I got my Slytherin. I know some of the kids over in, at my school, they were like, hey, how come you're Slytherin? It's like, it's not about that. It's about the colors. I'm all in my Christmas colors. So, so we're about to go into Sweet Pete's now. Lab Dads, let me go ahead and show you around this wonderful place that I have visited here at this candy store. Here we go. Let me turn your... Wow. Yeah, beautiful chandelier. All right, so let me take you through here. There's Clarice from Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. How's it going? Hi. Look at this beautiful tree. So Sweet Pizza's been here right across. It's hard to see through here, but that is Jacksonville City Hall. City of Jacksonville City Hall right there. And as we walk through, oh, Sweet Pete's, we love you. Look at all this wonderful confectionaries. I'm ready to lick this thing <laughs> and eat that thing. So we've been coming to Sweet Pete's for years now, and we love it. It's a three-story building, an old, old building. It used to be a place where, oh, and I was told by Melissa, Melissa, I'm calling you out because Melissa used to work with me at the YMCA. And so she works here and she told me about these hot chocolate bombs. So there's hot chocolate and marshmallows on the inside of this. You put it inside some uh, milk, you pour some other hot milk in it, melts this away and then you have your own hot chocolate from this wonderful um, round confectionery chocolate. Just take you around. Okay, ready to go upstairs everybody? Here we go. There's Santa. And there's Sweet Pete's. Let's go upstairs. There's a wonderful trees right here. Right, let's go upstairs. Come on. Come on. Upstairs. Hey, you want your candy? Oh. Come on. Oh, they moved some things around here. Wow, they did move some things around here. So this is now seating. They they took this before and it was over here. So now as you can see, it's where they serve some ice cream, some frozen treats, craft sodas. Let's see if any of you recognize any of these. Let me go slow. What? Coffee soda. <clears throat> Pete's Parlor, this is where my first daughter had a uh, birthday party with one of her friends. Sweet candy. And so this is, used to be, a, this is a party room. So they've converted this, a, it's a little bit different. Now they put their merchandise over here. This wall was full of uh, candy. Oh, I love their merch. Oh, Candy University, I love it. Some sweet swag for the kitties. Wow. 
Watch us make candy Pete's factory this way. So I said this is an older building and this is a dumbwaiter. If you know anything about dumbwaiters, this is where they would put food and other items. You'd push a button and it would go down to the first floor. It's almost like an elevator. Now this area over here wasn't opened up. You couldn't even walk through here. And now you can actually watch the candy making process. Excuse me. Wow, this is awesome, guys. Yeah, you weren't able to see this last time. Hi! So hungry. <laughs> That's Melissa. I know her. I know her. I guess this is a sorter. Look at that machine. Looks like a car engine. Crazy. All right, let's take you over to the other part, other side of the candy making process. You know this famous guy, it's Willy Wonka. Oh, that girl. <laughs> Normally you would go through here. This was the only place where you can actually see them make the candies. That other place I just showed you, that's totally brand new. Very, very friendly staff. Ooh. I love reading about facts about candy processes. Actually, any food process. Now, since I love chocolate, let's see what this says. Sweet Pete's tempered chocolate by hand on marbles. Sweet Pete's factory houses two tanks that hold 450 pounds of tempered chocolate. I wonder if Blab Dad can have that experience of trying to experience that. Oh, I didn't know that. Rare fine chocolate versus industrial chocolate. Interesting. Now, like I said before, it's been years since P Sweet Pizza is open, and I've had the opportunity to come here plenty of times with my girls and experience this. Great place for some cavities. Any of those people who have sweet, sweet teeth, like I do, but I, my, my taste is refined for chocolate, not necessarily candies, but that's okay. That's just my opinion. My taste, if this is my two lovelies, there's daughter number one and daughter number two. Did you get something? Yeah. Yeah. I love these, they're delicious. Tastes like chicken? Nope. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> So check out Sweet Pete's um, hours of operation on their uh, <clears throat> website. Come on in. They would love to see. Oh, here's my buddy right here. <laughs> I just took a picture of him. <laughs> Yeah, they've changed this up since the last time we were here. They never had this. I'm excited. That's a pinball machine. There's Galaga and Ms. Pac-Man, old school 80s stuff. And you can also take your picture here. That's great. Pete's patio. Let's see if it's open. It is. <gasps> yes. Now we're not on the third floor, but I will tell you, this used to be a only a gentleman's place. Up here in the third floor is where the, the gentlemen were only allowed and they had meetings here. But this large space um, is a tremendous place where you could chill and relax. And again, with COVID, it's really thrown, every, thrown everything for a loop. But here we are on a Thursday night. It is super slow. There's the patio down there of the first floor. This is City Hall. It's hard to see, but that's um, Hemming Plaza. It's another name now, but we're all, we'll always know this as Hemming Plaza right through there. Right beyond the flagpole is City Hall and the rest of downtown 
It's down that way. There's one of the elves. Let's wave at the elf. Hi! Oh, she's not waving. <laughs> she just washed the window. the rest of my family they are getting some more food some more candy yes lovely again there's some more swag right over here okay let me go ahead and bring you up to the third floor here we go this is a great place to explore This is where they have birthday parties and meetings. We were up here before from my, uh, one of the places I used to work. This used to be dressed up here, here in the third floor, but I guess they consolidated. And now it's not really much of a, um, of an area to visit. <clears throat> So over here they used to make, they showed us how to make chocolate. It's pretty cool. And again over here, if you can imagine a bunch of gentlemen in this, and it used to be obviously a, um, a darker version of what you see here, but imagine gentlemen around the tables smoking and drinking. <laughs> That's what they did back in the day. Look at that beautiful view as you come down the third floor staircase down to the second floor and over here on the banister a place to sit look how lovely that is super colorful All right, everybody. Well, it's time to go now, and we're gonna go explore more pe <clears throat> <clears throat> sweet peas with my family. So again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and Seasons Greetings here from Sweet Peas. Again, check them out on their website, <clears throat> as well as their hours of operation, and you'll certainly get a sweet tooth coming in here. So again, Levin says, if you like what you see here on these videos, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, ding and share, share, share. I'm willing to share this information so you can come down downtown, across the city hall here at Sweet Pete's and enjoy the confectionery magic that they always provide at this wonderful establishment. All right, everybody. We'll see you on the next video.